I'd say our organization is probably one of the founding members of the ACH and ultimately the network. So uh, we're a combined health and human, public health and uh, human services organization. And we came together as a group uh, along with others uh, to talk about how do we advance um, healthcare in the region at the same time the Medicaid waivers were coming out um, and have been partners with the ACH and uh, uh, other organizations on this journey. And so we've been uh, really a part of this network from the very beginning and uh, remain so. I've, I've learned a, a lot. <laughs> so. Um, coming from white privilege uh, and, and not even realizing what that meant in, until we started this journey has been eye-opening. Um, hearing the stories, uh, hearing what other people have experienced that I've never had to experience, whether it's not feeling safe, uh, whether it's um, the discrimination that they have received and and whatnot has been, I guess, eye-opening. I, 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 should have known it was there, but when you never experience it, you've never been around it, you don't see it, uh, it's, um, uh, it's hard to imagine that people are treated that way. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's been really about learning and, and growing as an individual and, and understanding that more and saying, how do we ensure that, that uh, we're not having that happen within our organization? How do, how do we build systems or have uh, things in place that people feel welcome to come in? And uh, we don't, uh, um, we're not treating anybody differently, and that we're open to all. And so that, for, to me, that's probably the, the single biggest thing for, uh, as an individual, is just having my eyes open to it and realizing that uh, there's been a lot of um, hurt out there. And how do we move forward as as uh, individuals to address it? We are embarking on a, a community health assessment and we're really trying to focus on uh, getting the voices, uh, hearing the stories and not using just the raw data but to actually learn from the communities that uh, um, maybe aren't receiving the services or are less likely to reach out and to hear from them what uh, what they've been missing, what they see as their needs, and uh, really hear from them and not just rely on the data to say here's what our, our needs are in the community. And so I, I think that's a focus for our uh, agency to do that um, and to, again, continue to learn from them. Um, we always tried to, in the past, ensure that we translated things into uh, uh, Spanish, uh, but through COVID we really made an effort to that. We had multiple uh, interpreters on staff uh, who would interpret all our information, who would be at the various locations to ensure that anybody who was um, uh, from the Latinx community would feel comfortable getting their vaccines or whatnot. And so I think you know that, that's been a, a concerted effort to uh, do that as well as part of this process. <laughs>